Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie. Today I am filming a video that I have wanted to film for so long, testing two ingredient recipes. Today's video is primarily going to focus on desserts. However, if you like this video, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to film another one that focuses on two ingredient snacks and two ingredient full blown meals. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's jump right on into it. But before we do, let's take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is in partnership with HelloFresh. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I actually subscribe to HelloFresh on my own. We get four meals a week delivered right to our doorstep. When they reached out for this partnership, it was a no-brainer because I already subscribed to HelloFresh. It is a company that we know and love so much. So it was kind of like a win-win. If you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh, I'm going to link all their information in the description below. And I'm going to be giving you a little bit more information in this B-roll as I cook one of our delicious meals. Today I am making the pork carnitas tacos. They're tacos, oh my lanta. Their tacos are so good. While I prep my meal, I'm going to give you a little bit of background on HelloFresh and what they stand for. HelloFresh cuts out all the stressful meal planning and prepping so you can just enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or sometimes even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. The packaging that HelloFresh uses to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable or already recycled content. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. You can easily change your delivery day, your food preferences, and even skip a week whenever you need. HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever, and has taken extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe. My husband and I have been subscribed to HelloFresh for just about two years now. I have a highlight on my Instagram if you would like to check that out where I showcase a bunch of the different meals that we've made over the past couple of years. And spoiler alert, it's gonna make you drool. But in all seriousness, a couple of reasons why we absolutely adore HelloFresh. First and foremost, the meals are delicious. Secondly, gives you a big variety. Before using HelloFresh, we would just eat the same boring meals over and over and over again. Now we get new meals every single week that are just so dang tasty. And number three, probably one of the most important reasons, it is completely pre-portioned. So we are not wasting any food, which is also something that is very near and dear to my heart. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit and it is easy to see why. If you are interested in trying out HelloFresh, please use my code MissAllieCake60 to get $60 off your first three weeks, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. Bam! Home cooked delicious tacos in 30 minutes or less. I'm gonna give it a little taste test even though I've had these probably 15 times so far. Anytime they ever have any sort of taco on their menu, I have to order it because on popular opinion, HelloFresh's tacos are some of the best tacos I've ever had in my entire life. But let's give it a taste test out anyways. Mm. You have to do the big mouth bite with these. You have to do the big mouth bite. It's so good. <laughs> Happy food dance. So good. All right, I'm gonna eat these. The 
This first recipe is very simple. All you want to do is add some frozen blueberries to a cup. I used half a cup. And then you want to pour in some almond milk. You want to pour in enough almond milk so that it covers the bottom, but it does not exceed the top layer of your blueberries. Let it sit for a minute and then take a fork and just kind of slush it up. Starting this video off very strong, this first two ingredient recipe took probably two minutes to make. The color is so beautiful. It's like a darker lilac color and it looks exactly how it looked in the video. So now we're going to give it a little taste test. I can't see this tasting bad. Blueberry, almond milk, how can you go wrong? Three, two, one, here we go. Mm. It's very subtle, but super, super refreshing. This is like a very, very, very healthy snack that you can make for the summertime. It's super, super refreshing. And you can taste the blueberries. It's kind of like a creamier blueberry slush. It's perfect, but without all the extra added sugar. Two thumbs up for this one, I'm liking it. This next recipe is a little more involved, but still super simple. You want to start off with one cup of self-rising flour. If you don't have self-rising flour, you can add in a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of baking powder. Then you want to add in three-fourths of a cup of vanilla Greek yogurt. If you don't have vanilla Greek yogurt, you can use plain Greek yogurt, and you want to mix it all together. When your batter starts to come together, you want to go in with your hands and knead it a little bit. Last step is to take small portions of your batter and to throw them into a fry -later or a makeshift fry -later and fry them up about a minute, a minute and a half per side or until they are golden brown. What we have here is an operator error. I'm going to link the recipe that I used from the video that I watched in the description below. Check it out, go support her channel. Amazing. Hers came out so light and fluffy and airy and beautiful. <laughs> Mine, however, if you are from Rhode Island like I am, shout out to my locals. These look like mini clam cakes that you could get at Rocky Point Amusement Park. If you're not from Rhode Island, they look like fritters. This does not look like a donut hole that you want to sink your teeth into. It looks like a savory clam cake. Don't know what it's going to taste like. In her video, she split hers up into three. One she topped with sugar, one she topped with powdered sugar, I believe. No, a glaze, excuse me, she did a glaze. And the last one, she did like a chocolate sauce. I'm just going to pour a little bit of sugar on top of mine see if that helps out i don't know guys these, these are not looking good again 100 percent operator error hers looked real real good so i'm gonna take one now i'm gonna give it give it a go yo these are good These are delicious. I don't think I made them taste like donuts, but I think I made mine taste like little dough boys. All of this aside, the recipe is a two ingredient recipe and I was able to make little mini dough boys with only two ingredients. I'm totally making these again. Again, if you are a Rhode Islander, shout out again to my locals and you go to Iggy's Clam Cake Shack, Clam Shack, Iggy's Clam Shack, they make dough boys. Obviously, everybody in Rhode Island knows about their dough boys. These taste just like their dough boys with a little sugar on them. I'm so impressed. And look, it's not dense. I thought mine were going to be like super dense. It's actually pretty fluffy inside. So mine aren't aesthetically as beautiful as hers from the video. And they probably don't taste nearly as good as hers. But I'm like really proud of these. These are really good. This one, very self-explanatory. Take a popsicle, 
I'm using a bomb pop, place it in a glass, pour salsa water over it. Boom, done. Look how cute this one is. Like first and foremost, the aesthetic of this one is on point. I can totally see these being served at a summer cookout, a 4th of July party. Like just imagine like five, 10, 15, 20 of these lined up in a row. Super Instagram worthy and just so, so cute. For the taste, we're gonna try it out right now. Can't see how this could possibly be bad. Popsicles are delicious. Salsa water or sparkling water is delicious. Put them together, match made in heaven. But let's find out together. I'm gonna kind of like swirl it up a little bit. Use this as a stir. <sighs> That's so fun. Okay, here we go. Yep. That's delicious. <laughs> That's real good. And after you're done drinking your sparkling water, you get a little fun treat. Like this one's awesome. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. All right, chocolate fudge made out of marshmallows. I am skeptical to say the least. Take some marshmallows, place them in a microwave safe bowl, microwave until they have poofed up to double or triple their size, add in some melted chocolate, mix it together, and that is your base. Take your chocolate marshmallow mixture. The video had them pouring it into the ice cube trays. However, I could not pour this. It was very thick and very sticky and very messy. So I kind of scooped mine into a pre-greased ice cube tray, which was silicone so it was easy to pop out afterwards. And then I placed this in the refrigerator to harden. I think we're gonna have our first fail of this video. I did think that the donuts were going to be a fail and they ended up turning out to be probably my favorite thing I have tested thus far. So I don't know, let's be optimistic, but these just, they just, no, <laughs> it's just not working out guys. They're so sticky, not really marshmallow-like at all. And look at me, I'm wrong again. They actually, they actually worked. I mean, this is definitely more marshmallowy than fudge. I think what I did was make a chocolate marshmallow rather than make chocolate fudge. Let's test it out. Rude. Rude again. Rude three times. Not fudge. It is not a marshmallow. It's something in between. I made chocolate taffy and it's all right. I don't think I would put the time or effort into making this again. It's just... Nope. This is the recipe that I was the most excited to try. It just seemed too good to be true. You want to take a mug that is microwave safe, add in six to seven tablespoons of boxed cake mix. I use Funfetti because Funfetti forever. And then you want to add in two and a half tablespoons of salsa water. What? <laughs> mix it all together, pop it in the microwave, and microwave for one minute and 10 seconds. This puffed up to like three times its original size. Look at that. It smells so stinking good. My whole entire kitchen right now, just from microwaving this little tiny mug, smells like I've been baking all day. So that's cool. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I'm gonna take a big scoop. Y'all, this is like cake. <laughs> I don't get it, look at that. This is legit fluffy cake. If my camera would focus now, that would be just fantastic. Please focus, come on. Look at that. That is probably the best looking mug cake I've ever made. And I've made so many mug cakes in my day. 
Let's see what it tastes like. Delicious. I don't I don't understand the sorcery behind this. I don't understand the science. I don't understand the magic. But whatever it is, it works. Like it clearly works. This is funfetti cake in a mug in under two minutes. Here's a better view at how fluffy this cake actually came out. And last, but definitely not least, Nutella Stuffed Biscuit Waffles. Preheat a waffle maker, take a biscuit round, place it on the bottom, add a scoop of Nutella to the center, add another biscuit round, close your waffle maker, and allow it to cook completely or until your waffle is golden brown. So, guys, I was not expecting this at all. I was expecting just to get the circular waffle piece with the grid, but I got a full-blown Mickey Mouse, and if you guys know me at all, you would know how excited that makes me. Save the best for last. Am I right? Look. Just look. So good. I did not expect the ears to puff out when I put it inside of that waffle maker. I thought it was just going to be a circle, and then it spread out and made a full-blown Mickey Mouse. And my Disney-loving heart is just so happy right now. So I'm going to do a very close-up and share whether or not the Nutella is going to ooze out. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. So it's not like super oozy, but it's also not burnt. <laughs> Save the best for last. Mmm, this is really good. Let's take it to the next level. Drizzle some Nutella on top, or drizzle like a little bit of syrup on top, because that would take it to the next level. But it's so good the way it is for a two ingredient recipe. This one I have to say is probably my favorite. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had a little too much fun filming this video. So if you would like to see round two, let me know in the comments below. I could do another testing two ingredient video. I could do a testing three ingredient video. Possibilities are endless. I just want to take a moment to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all of your love and support and just all of your kindness here on my channel. It means the absolute world to me. And thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring me and working with me on this video. I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope you're having an amazing day and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye, guys.